Yo, my delusional peeps, how are you guys doing today? I am quite excited for what's going to be showcased right here. I have the new trailer for Guilty Gear Strive Season Pass 3 for Slayer. That's going to come out pretty soon. Not this month, though. The next month coming after, though very late during the month, I will say. And I have not seen the trailer yet. I just know that the characters are coming out on the 30th of May. And... I want to show you guys what's going to be presented in this trailer. I really do hope that they have some new stuff for him. Because if it's just the same old, same old thing that he had in previous games, I will be a little bit upset. So, that's just me. If this character is banging, if this character is hot as shit, I'm probably going to be dual uploading both Tekken 8 content and Guilty Gear Strive content. So I'm just letting you guys know if this character is banging to me, then I'm going to be playing that game again. Does it suit me, Shannon? Oh, his voice. My lovely wife is waiting. Let's make this. He looks so good. And the music too, bro. Oh, dandy as fuck, bro. What the? Oh, I might have to go back and review this. Oh, what? He dandy stepped into whatever that was. Oh, that's his 2 age. Oh, what? Oh, what? He has his command grab into the counter hit. Oh. What, what, what? He lost his okay. Oh. He got young! Brother, this guy is fucking. Oh! Laid back and dignified. What was the vampire? And the new stage. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, please tell me there's something else that they're going to be showcasing. Oh, no. I guess not. Oh, that's it? Ah. Uh, Alright, so this is what confused me. He did... What was that? Let me slow it down even more, because that was too fast. Okay. So, he ended up blocking a low. And did he do dandy step there? Wait, that is his dandy step? Usually dandy step works is that Slayer would end up going into a back pivot into a forward lunge. And then from there you can press any button portraying to the dandy step allowing access to various moves like either a high or a mid move that goes into an overhead and other new moves that he had in previous games, of course. But here, he's not pivoting back into the lunge forward movement of dandy step he's just moving forward regardless he goes into a low and this move here this is the move here i need to see that again you know what that move reminds me of that move reminds me of slayer's force break i think it's called force break dust move where he essentially uppercuts the shit out of you and he launches you up in the air but he has it now as a, I'm not certain if that's a, like a normal move, but it looked like he hit him with an actual special. So maybe that's a follow up into the low kick that he did. He still has all of that though. The, I, the thing that I don't like about this part though, I will say, is that, okay, he goes into his slash into down kick or down K or 2K, 2K he does. So he goes for that, but it doesn't bounce him up in the air, so he can follow up with more uh, air combos. So they removed that in this game, which makes sense, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, it, he did it here. See the pivot back into Dandy Step. So I'm guessing this is the kick version. What he did in the Happy Chaos fight was the, I guess, the short version that just moves forward. 
does pow bunker and immediately goes into a wall splat now wait is this a no it's not a wall splat it's actually just a stage break then does this whatever that is that's a new move I'm guessing then here he does this move this is 2h this is 2h this is basically his move that he had in all games I would say and it countered hit the sin launched him though I, mean, I don't know if he was either jumping towards the slayer no he's in the, he's on the ground and he is definitely getting launched so this launches goes into dandy step with well, his new dandy step I guess and then does whatever that move is then he does his normal so I'm guessing that's slash slash into mop a punch into his command grab now what this does what I mentioned later uh, before I mean that when he does his command grab he gets a counter hit that's what I, I essentially shouted out when he does this command grab he will only you have only have a couple of seconds to then immediately launch another move any move of whatever kind and that would automatically become a counter hit a fatal counter hit or whatever and you see that he does this into dandy step which this is his overhead that he has in dandy step so he does still have that launching the, the oh okay and then what the what was that he backdashed is he still have the he still has the properties where if he backdashes or front dashes into the like the weird warp that he does and it has invulnerability frames but what he did here was weird. I don't know what that was. Unless they made that into a move. Whatever. Oh, that looks so weird. 5k into Mappa Punch. The interaction with Nagari Yuki. Wow. And then his... Oh, that looks so cool. And the fact that he takes off his clothes... <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. He does 2H. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, so I'm not certain if that's actually a a special that he just did right there. The uppercut. That might actually just be a normal. Could be a normal. Or it could be a special. Whatever the case. But if it's a special, then he wouldn't be able to do his 2H. So that is a normal. And then from there, he goes into his command grab super and this is what's so cool about this he he bites into soul and he turns young we, we have never seen this at least those that played guilty gear previously we have never seen slayer like do that and suddenly just get young oh my dude that's slayer is looking so fucking cool so yeah, that's about it, I, I guess. This really isn't anything else that I want to talk about here. I mean, he does have a few changes. The fact that his 2K no longer launches, or should I say follow up to do another launch in the air for more combo potential. But they did change a couple of things with his dandy step. He seems to have the regular dandy step that he usually has, but then, then he has like a shorter version that doesn't pivot back. Instead, it just goes into like a forward lunge. And he does have a, like a new special where it seems like he does like a somersault into like this weird Captain Marvel type punch that he does. Not that one though, the, like a different kind. And then he does this weird backdash into that attack. A, a lot of amazing new things that they showcase to Slayer. He doesn't seem like a completely different character, but he also doesn't seem like very similar to his other uh, archetypes. I, I like what they've done with Slayer. This looks a exactly what I probably would had done myself if I was a game developer and what I would have added to Slayer because he seems very unique while also keeping the traits that make him you know Slayer so yeah I'm quite happy with this again uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing so you might see me make videos on Guilty Gear in the future if not then it's whatever but I'm looking forward to playing some Slayer